One of the other tools that we're going to look at using, um, just using this, this toolbar here today, is to look at being able to identify different features. So this little blue button up here is the identify tool. And for example, if I click on this, um, I'll get some, I'll get another dialog box that pops up, and it's asking me which layer I would like to identify something from. So for example, if I'm interested in, in looking at the names of some of the individual tectonic plates, I might go, well, I'd like to identify something from the plates. Then I can come over to my map and click on this particular plate, for example. You see it flashes, and it provides me with some information about that feature that I've, that I've just clicked on. So it's telling me that the name of that, that particular tectonic plate is the Pacific plate. So I can do that just clicking around different plates um, as I go. I could also change that to, um, say, change this to the world shape file, which will give me information about individual countries. So, so I, as I click on areas, although I can't actually see where the boundaries of those polygons are, you do sort of see it as it, as it flashes on when I click on those. I could also switch the boundaries on so it's a little bit clearer as to exactly which country I'm going to click on. Now, as you notice, when I'm using that identify tool, you bring up a series of information that, will, for example, about this this world layer, it will tell me the name, um, the capital of that country, the area covered, etc. And all this information is actually contained in a database that's sitting behind the shape files that are existing in your table of contents. So for example, if I if I come over to the table of contents and I'm going to click on the world layer here and right click on that and go open attribute table. And what you get there is all the information that's sitting behind the spatial shapes that are presented in your map. So you get the individual column names for this table and all the information that's sitting in there. So the name of the country, the capital, the area, etc. And there's a bunch of information in there. And essentially that table is then providing information to the shapes that you can then create maps about. So you might want to create a map about the, the, the area of different countries or something similar to looking at uh, different uh, different areas of population centers.